so starting a little bit late, but it's time to join. I'm joining, what, 33 minutes late-ish. It's a Blitz Tyler Arena. I didn't actually know this was happening today until like a couple hours ago. So um, I'll play most of the tournaments. Hey, we have Silverback HQ is first. Um, okay, high level blitz time. I won't be berserking. I'll just be, it's 3-0, so no increment. I'll be trying to play quickly. A London opening time. Um, yeah, this is already pleasant. A4, C3, etc. Just be happy. How's it going? I'm doing well. Yeah, as people trickle in, it might be hard to say hi to everyone, but I appreciate the early arrivers. I think B3 is pretty typical here. And my bishop can get to D3. Uh, this is a move. I'll keep developing. I think a5 is coming very soon. Queen d8 is forced, or queen c6. I'll move back next. Hey, it's more people. True beer us. Lamoons. Yeah, I'm, I'm joining late because I wasn't home when the tournament started. I was actually getting a new camera, um, but this is a, it's a three hour title arena, which, uh, yeah, I, I think I probably prefer the blitz title arenas over the bullet. More time to think. I'm managing time well this game. Mm, E4 is a move. A few options here. I think I'll put the F rook on C1, leave the tension. Hey, it's more people. Welcome everyone. Thank you, Raddy. The first sub of the stream. Um, Let's trade. Wow, so many people. Oh, from different locations too. Yeah, haha. <laughs> I know this is a more, more European friendly time than normal. My last stream was yesterday evening, my time. Okay, let's play this move. Yeah, this is a very, very pleasant position. Rook c7 coming, etc., etc. I want to play this move, but then rook c8. We trade. Not sure if it works. You just knight c3, even this move. Ooh. Wait, that might not work. Takes, takes, rook e8. Oh, I take with queen. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, so if takes, takes, rook e8, I think I'd be in trouble there. Or wait a minute. Queen f7? It might actually be okay. Ooh, it's kind of risky. I'm gonna go for it. It looks like rook e8 loses a, yeah, or wins a bishop, but then I have rook c7, and then it's just mating or winning a queen. Thank you, Pucosmo. And that note sounded sharp. New sub at tier one. Yeah, welcome back everyone. Good to see so many people. Let's win a pawn. Okay, so now it's just a matter of trying to move quickly. On a5, I take here. For everyone just joining, this is a Lee Chest Hard Arena. I late joined, so threw myself into the tournament at the very beginning of the stream. Hey, it's Stockfist. Good day. Welcome Long back. time no see. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while since I've streamed at like a European friendly time. 
Um, had a lot of traveling in recent weeks. Back in St. Louis for only a few more days. Going to Russia soon. Okay, let's take. Yeah, positions falling apart for black. And go after this pawn. Make some luft. A shout out to all the, the Germans watching. Germans invented the word luft, right? Or luft. Still don't know how to say it. Ooh. This isn't force mates, but it's close. Okay, let's go. Starting things off with a win. 2-13, that was my first game. Uh, of two minutes, or two hours and 22 minutes left. Do I need queens? Uh, depends on the position. Next opponent. Um, uh, okay, I'm black. Gotta play a Stafford. Mm, Stafford? Maybe. Opponent's considering it. <laughs> I guess not. Okay. So we'll have a king's pawn, sort of Italian four knights type thing. I might go for the early um, h6, g4, g or g5, g4. Can be a fun plan for these positions. Yeah, this is one of the ways to play aggressively where I don't commit to castling. Some cases I castle queenside, other cases the king just chills. Shabbat shalom, Eric. Oh, Shabbat shalom. Yeah, happy Saturday afternoon. Play this move? This is playable. I want to remove the knight and then fork the, the minor pieces. And if takes, takes. And my rook connects with the queen. So if takes, takes, takes. I take back with rook. It's probably close to equal. Knight takes two. Um, take with pawn. A lot of tension here between this, this, and this. Uh, keeping a time advantage. There's a line. Uh, takes, 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 knight d5. Oh, but then I just take everything. Him Rosen. Him. Oh, like a pronoun. <laughs> Thank you, Jungi, subbing for three months. Okay, Queen D3. I could take. Don't want to spend too much time here. Yeah, let's just take. That's slightly more pleasant. I might castle soon. Rook G8 should be thrown in at some point. Like, maybe right now. I feel like this is the most non-committal move. Because my rook might want to stay on the A-file. I might want to bond cloud. Ooh, I might want to take and knight d4. A positional chess. So threatening the, the free thing. Knight c2 doesn't do much. I'll play c6. Restricting the knight. Hmm. Could castle queenside. Because I want to maintain a piece on d4. Oh, this pawn's a bit tender. Okay, the knight should really be on d4. So I'll get the rook here. Here we go. Okay. Knight's coming to d4. Put the king on the dark square. Might play this move, just poking around, threatening this. This pawn's also weak. A lot of targets in the position. Rook a1, I fork. This is also a fork. Take with a rook. Okay, this is going very well. 
kind of want to play this move. Ooh. Oh, no, my pawn. <laughs> if takes the pawn, it's mate. Um, that's a better move. Let's check. Takes in probably b5. That way I drive the rook away from attacking the knight and I'll take and win the pawn. Oh. I miss that. Okay, let's take and take and... Howdy from a very king. new St. Louis in and also SLCC member. Oh, hey, welcome. Welcome to the chess capital. Who is that? Oh, that's Critical Bread. Can I take this? Let's take this. It seems like a lot of people are moving to St. Louis. That was nice to see. Not defend. I guess I can't defend. Take with this and go back. Still up a pawn. It takes work to convert, though. Okay, this should be pretty straightforward. Threatening a fork. How do I do this, though? There we go. So I control these squares. There we go. Get ready for it. Get ready for it. There we go. Okay. Did I miss a fork? I maybe missed a fork. It's okay. Got the job done. Top 200. Let's go. So first two games, relatively clean. Oh, welcome Chessweeb. Shout out to Chessweeb. At some point, yeah, there will be a St. Louis chess meetup. Probably after I'm back from Russia. Um, sometime in August. I'll be back in St. Louis during uh, like the big events, Singfield Cup, Rapid Blitz. Do I want to play here? I'll play this in Bishop F5. And Bishop E5 is like a newer trendy move. I've been playing as white. Oh no, did I? Did I fall for my own thing? Wow. Did I really fall for... No. Wait. I can take? Good evening from Summary I've Scott shown Bishop A6, but not in this, this position. I've never seen this before. <laughs> Um, so there's takes, but I have rook, wait, no, that's a cool idea, queen a4, bishop a6, um, I can castle here, I think it's so clear for white, I mean, I'm down a pawn, but I have the bishop pair, attacking b2, if b3, there's bishop d3, I'll have to look into this. That's a cool line. I think I can get away with taking. I'll have e2 for the rook if knight b3. Uh, there's a few options here, actually. Queen b6. And the rook is being very brave right now. Hello. Hello. Okay, threatening this now. Be a nice little fork. Hello to Mavzer. Welcome back. And I wear shoes, subbing for 17 months. Um, I boiled water. I forgot to pour 
of water. Maybe I'll make some. Uh... I have something other than tea today. Oh, the bishop controls e2. I guess there's rook c2. C3 is a target now. Ah. I'll make my thing later. Three pawn? Actually, where's my thing? Here it is. I'm gonna make some uh, lion's mane. Oh, tricky move. So that's a threat. Tempted to take on b3. Oh, this is a threat too. Let's take on e5. And maybe this move. Yeah, I have uh, this four sigmatic elixir mix. It's supposed to help with focus. Man, there's so many fun moves I want to play. Okay, let's triple up, attack this. So I want to exploit this pin. This thing is supposed to help me focus, but it was distracting me what from the game. What are the best loose leaf tea shops in SDL? I'm looking to oh. explore. I'm actually not sure. I haven't explored the tea shops in St. Louis. There's one in Chicago. Oh, I have my pawn. There's one in Chicago I can recommend called Todd and Hollins. Um, I should make an effort to explore the tea of St. Louis. Okay, I got to focus. So it's equal material now. Okay, I'm up a pawn. What is this? Up a pawn is down in time. Oh, if takes I mate. Look at this move. Ah, my queen. Please take it or take my rook. That's a funny move. Ha ha ha. I'm threatening the rook. So rook g1, I play this move. No. Oh, let's, ah, let's take. I have seven seconds. It's almost winning, though. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. I want it. Oh, it took some fast moving. How do I open this? So it's it's uh like powder form. Okay. People see. There's my my lion's mane elixir powder. Um let's go back to tournament. Am I undefeated? Hey, I've won three games in a row. I've only played three games this stream. It'd be cool to get sponsored by Four Sigmatic. This is not sponsored. Um, but, oh, let's play London. Okay, I have a knife to mix my uh, elixir. I know Tim Ferriss has done some deal with Four Sigmatic. That's where I first heard of it. Okay, um, let's play Mainline. 
So bishop b5 is my uh, move of choice. Some more water. Okay, black's falling into a, a nice trap. Pawn is gone. Knight d7, I'll play knight b3. Okay. So life is good. Yeah, this is one of the main London traps that like, higher level players will fall into. I, think I can just take. I'll have a better knight over the bishop. Black probably wants to do this and this. Or this and this and this. Always have to be careful. So I probably want to do this and maybe this. But this is very, very pleasant. Up a pawn. Good pieces. Play rook d1. Hey, Karasu Morgan, welcome back. Oh yeah, knife f5 is coming. Maybe, actually. <laughs> Not next move, but someday in the future. I've never actually played knife f5 while holding a knife. Okay, let's double up. T. Oh, yeah, that's not quite what I'm drinking, but. What defines tea? Good afternoon, Eric. Good afternoon. Okay, let's not spend too much time. Bearded Will, welcome back. And tea is like the ground up. Wait, what? Pawn. I could also trade. I could trade and then knife F. Ooh. But free pawn. But queen trade. I don't know. I gotta just take a free pawn. <laughs> so now I'm up two pawns. I this vote move. knife F5. It's too late now. But maybe I'm. Could happen later. Oh, there's a funny line. Oh no, my knight. That wasn't really a trap even. Let's play this move. Ooh, takes takes d4. Okay, not happening. Okay, just gotta play quick. Everything's controlled, defended. Play h3. I make some luft. The queen will probably sit happily on f3. The problem for black is the bishop is forever alone. As long as I blockade the pawn. I might want to play knife f4. Or I might just want to trade queens. Hi, Eric. How to write an academic essay? I need help. Uh, just Google it. Google should know best. Oh, I missed knife f5. But the knight really belongs here to target the pawn. So if we're here... Ready to take. Oh, ooh. Oh, wow. Black's running this. That's so tricky. I have to be careful here. I guess I have F3. <laughs> Not the move I would want to play, but it, it blunts the bishop, which is important. Because there is some windmill possibility for black. here. I guess we're trading. A 
Okay, I have my knife. Get ready. Oh, never mind. All I want to do is knife takes f5. Bring the king in, I guess. Okay. <laughs> I guess I, I didn't play knife f5 that game. I had my knife ready and everything. Okay, at least my elixir is made. So that's four wins in a row. I did late join, so I guess I kind of gambited some time the first half hour of the tournament. But we keep going. I'll try and break in. Oh, Carlson's playing. Didn't even realize Carlson's playing. Huh. So I'll try and catch up to Carlson, I guess. The goal is to play Carlson. Need revenge for the last time he beat me. Okay. This is a fun line. It's similar to what we had earlier, where I was black, my opponent played queen a4, but there's some differences. Opponent's clearly not prepared. Yeah, knight g7 is one of the better moves. Otherwise, uh, bishop d6 would run into bishop a6. I think 95 here? All I know are plans Always from this point. Play can I f5. Oh man. Knife. What is a knife? Oh, it's where you you pronounce you mispronounce knife and you pronounce a k. Also I'm realizing black's kind of equalizing. Hmm. I guess we can trade everything. Oh, we can trade everything and I win a pawn. Because takes I take. But f6. Okay, not exactly what I wanted. I'll try and make do with this. This might be playable. Knight b3 and get some outpost square. Yeah, we're getting a more positional game now. The c5 could be annoying. That's also annoying. I'll play c4. I'm dreaming of connect 4, but it's probably just connect 3. At least this position's closed. I can maneuver my knight. E4 is probably a standard, or F4. Hey Eric, hand waving thanks for all the excellent content. I oh, much enjoy you. whenever I'm able to catch the stream live. Thanks so much. Okay, I have a plan of never mind. Yeah, Black's playing very prophylactically. Also, thanks for that, Java Thello. Okay, yeah, h5 probably should have been played there. Now, well, it's still tricky. This move now. The knight's going to come into d6. I don't mind if takes, because then rook h1. Okay, I like the position now. Leaving the tension. Hmm. 
could take. Actually, not sure what to do here. Maybe king f2. Over defend. F5 hangs. Rook here, I fork. Ooh, that was a bad move. It's still okay, though. Everything defended. Hey, knife at five. Let's go. Arr. Okay. Uh, now let's try and win. Chat. Oh, I can check and win the pawn and then come back to defend a3. Okay, very nice. A knife e3 to finish things off. <laughs> it's only a butter knife. I really only used it to stir, stir my elixir. Hey, top, almost top 90. That's five in a row. Let's go. Keep up the fantastic work. I'll try. Thanks for that. Mad 2488. Okay, I guess I'll berserk. Wow. Fast opening. I think opponent's playing a little too quickly there. Bishop is regretting its life decisions. But it's still tricky. Um, let's just try and trade queens and then trap the bishop later. I guess rook g1 could come. I mean, white's going to get comp, yeah. It's still probably preferable for me. Maybe you shouldn't have allowed that. Hello. Hello. Yeah, it's a tricky position. It's dangerous. Was a bad move. Might be okay. It might not be. Yeah, this is not a good position. Really? Ah. Oh no, my thing. Ah. Ah. Ah, my position was good at some point that game. What to do? Opponent was fast. Ten Maybe months, I shouldn't have two deserved. sentences. Thanks for the content, man. Ah. Oh, thank you for the sub. Oh, Two Sons Critic is back. Making me forget about my my pains. Okay, still top 100. Kind of. Oh, I can't try out a bot right now. Because um, I'm playing a, a, a title arena. But if you remind me after the tournament, there's a possibility. Um, yeah, there's less than two hours left. Okay, no more berserking. Gonna try and have a smooth game, like a hedgehog. Where did I get this cup from? This cup came with my apartment. 
I was here when I moved in. That's one of these like espresso type things. Okay, so this Queen F3 London line is uh is fun. H4. I'm not scared of discoveries because the bishop's not defended. Bishop d3. Okay, just developing. Okay, now the bishop's defended. So probably I have e4. Is, no, e4 doesn't work. d5? d5 is actually interesting. Let's play queen h3. No need to explode the center too soon. Thank you, Kangaroo. And Nando's extending through August. Thanks so much. Yeah, this is pleasant. I have full development, a bit more center and space. The king is questionable. Because black probably doesn't want to castle kingside with my attack. So the king might stay in the center. see what black does about the pawn. So idea e5. Wow, a lot of people subbing. Christine. Wow, a lot of people extending their sub. Christine subbing through December. And Mexican Llamas subbing for six months in advance. Thanks so much. Really, really appreciate that. The subscriber commitments. Speaking of commitments, I don't think I want to commit to e5. Maybe this move first. Provoke h6 and move back, and then there's a target. Also realizing I should consider an e4 would hang. Play King B1. Good day, Mr. Rosen. Good day. Thank you, Panini. Loves you. Okay, so trying to stay stable. Um, let's defend the pawn. Okay, probably... I do want to play e5, but actually e5 looks nice because after here it takes, takes bishop h7, and I'll win the g pawn and get some attack. And the bishop still helps defend from a distance. Ooh, uh, let's not play queen g7. It's taken. Yeah, this is winning. Oh, bishop g6 is coming. Still takes some work then. But my, yeah, my attack is stronger. The queen will come in, and then the rook. Two different maiden two threats. Okay, that was pretty smooth. Thank you, Harry Bum. Any plans to post more one to two hour videos on YouTube? Maybe this stream will be a future one to two hour YouTube video. If I can keep going. This name gives me anxiety. I'm assuming they're they're just a fide master misleading me. <laughs> oh, um do I berserk? No, I wanna I wanna catch up to Carlson. And I've I have a zero percent record with Berserking. Also, this is the first Stafford Gambit of the stream so far. 
Maybe I should have berserked. I don't know. Okay, we're having a fun line. I should have berserked. Would have been had fun to play this line. Like, I don't need to spend time. So this is the line where the king could come to e4. Yeah. <laughs> king takes e4. It's so fun. So if here I'm down two miners, but white's king would be a, a bullseye. Um, as far as I remember, this is a for this is just a draw, but uh, I will try and play for a win. Yeah, I actually need the time here to think like, how do I make things trickier than check and queen f6. Oh. <sighs> okay, let's play this and queen d5. Yeah, I'm down two pieces. But I'm up on time. Wow. Thanks for the donation, whoever that was. I need time here to think. Um, B, B, no. C4 is interesting. B6 might be playable, actually. That's fancy. No. Actually, it might work. No, it's not even mate threat. Take the rook, there's queen f3. Threatening a4 now. Yeah, what is this position? Mm. Ah. Okay, I'm just much, much worse. I feel dirty doing this, but what to do? No, no, ah! oh, I maybe deserved it too. What to do? Ah, so I have a zero percent rate of when my opponent berserks. Maybe that's my weakness. 
Opponent played well to escape with a king. Ah. Also played quickly enough too. <laughs> oh, where's my hand sanitizer? That was like a dirty loss, kind of. Ah. I I did this and it went the other direction, but I okay, got some. Oh, I'm playing a strong player now. Who has been me many times in the past. Let's try and play something solid. I'll admit that I don't play this too often. C4. E4 and Knight G5. Yeah, this is some weird like Dutch position that my opponent probably has more experience in. But I'll try and make it work. This is not King's Indian. This is a, a Dutch. It's a, the double fiend keto variation. I have this move. Idea to chase the bishop off this diagonal. Queen c2. It's going to get weird. Knight b4, queen c3. Knight d3, bishop a3. Maybe it's okay. I was going to say earlier, my idea is to play this move. Not sure how effective this is. It might not actually do much. Have a nice day. Oh, you too. Mm. How is Mangu still undefeated? Mongoose or Magnus or Mon <laughs> Someone should make a Photoshop, a, a Photoshop of Mongoose Carlson. I still don't know what a mongoose is. I knew at some point, but then I forgot. Okay, I actually don't mind the position. Thank you, little Tex Mex. Or Among Us Carlson. Wasn't this a meme at some point? It started with like Ingus Carlson with like cow beef or something. Okay, um, let's focus. Pawn is almost hanging. I think I just want to play this move and win the pawn. Might even sack. YOLO. Yeah, kind of YOLOing. Looks interesting, though. Pawn's tender. Probably not getting much from this. Trading. I mean, this pawn's tender and we'll probably trade bishops so the king might be exposed. Ooh. Okay, I'm. I'm going to need a miracle to not lose this. Okay, Chade is coming. Have this move. Hitting the bishop. Maybe h4 soon. It's not over. And bishop doesn't have too many squares. Um, h4. I mean, there's rook f2, queen...
Hmm. It's gonna move quick. No. There we go. Here we go. Check. There we go. Oh. No. Let's go. Oh, I won that. I guess that makes up for the other game, kind of. I won because I have a knight, and there's some mating possibility where uh, I'm not supposed to win, but it's declared a win. Man, more hand sanitizer, yeah. I've gone through... I bought this like six months ago. I've gone through some amount of it. Okay. Stafford Gambit time. Maybe, maybe not. Dirty resub. Oh, thanks for the dirty resub. Julian Berman. So there's this plan. Never mind. Okay, I'm using the same plan as that previous game I played. Early G4. It looks playable here. Also, thank you, Scruffles. And thanks to everyone else who maybe I didn't mention who subbed or cheered. Do appreciate the love. Also appreciate the pin. Threatening ninety four. Oh, ninety nine. Top hundred. I guess Rook G eight. This is pleasant. Because there's a lot of pieces targeting the king side. Plan might be this or even this. Calculating this, knight h4. Knight f4 is now a threat. Hmm. Ooh, did I blunder? Maybe not. I missed this pin thing, but maybe it's okay. Because there's this pin thing. There's this Fee and Kato thing, too. A weird position. I don't know what my plan is. Be safe. Control D4. I have three center pawns. I guess we're just trading. Block out the bishop. Bong cloud. Okay, going for rook AF8. What is this move or this move? I'll reroute the knight to e6. 
This could get very sharp, especially if white goes for a move like this. Actually, F4, I just take it. Okay, now I want to play H4. I didn't calculate everything, but this looks good. Am I mating? Oh, double checkmate, almost, kind of. Wait a minute. I'm struggling with calculating mate. I think it's mate. It smells like mate. Oh no, my queen. So knight has to take. And that was double check and now rook g2 and yeah, it's mate. Okay, that was a nice sequence. Something about that kind of confused me. <laughs> but it's important, like when I take and promote, it's double check like this. Very rare for a double check to occur like this. Okay, that was nice. Thank you, T gains. So 95th place. I'm approaching my highest blitz rating of all time, I think. My highest blitz rating ever is 2639. And my current rating is 2638. Ooh. Okay. Can you demonstrate an England gambit at some point if possible? Oh, maybe. But that might risk my my sacred rating. We'll see. I'll play it by ear. Oh, thanks for the bits, Psychedelic Gazelle. Yes, I am slightly incentivized. Okay, this is a fun line. Um, I mean, from my experience, uh, this attack is usually quicker than this attack. But these positions do get sharp. So yeah, generally the Ideas to take and play a3. And now Bach has to deal with this stuff. If knight h5, I... Never mind. I would take on h5 with rook. So e5 is a fine move. Yeah, what's the... Uh, what's the approach here? I don't want to take all my time. Maybe take everything and play bishop, um, knight c3, bishop c4. Try this. So leaving tension between the bishops. Going for this. If bishop e6, I have knight h3, I think. I do knight g5. Tension remains. This is relatively solid, even though there's a pawn on b3. Not too scary yet. Mm. It takes a 96. There's a lot of options here. Everything starts with taking, though. I mean, there's... Oh, there's queen d6, actually. Might be stronger. Idea being, if takes, I inter intermeso bishop c4. And win material. Oh, but my rook hangs. I may have blundered. I'm not sure, though. It's interesting. Yeah, I have to take the queen. 
There's some accidental compensation. To treat every blunder as a gambit. G5's coming. It's almost a mating that. Oh, there's alignment like this. Confusing position. Let's play this first. Renting knight or rook d7. I do have a kind of a nice bind. I'll play this move next. Even this move. A lot of pins here. The king should be on C1. Threatening rook h6 and takes. Never mind. Mm. I think the ending is winning. Past a pawn. Here we go. Okay, that was nice. Yeah, that took work. I uh, spent a lot of time in the the middle game trying to figure out what to do. Okay, this is nice. Top seventy, three in a row. Um, playing Chaburashka. Let's play Stafford Gambit. Okay, Stafford Gambit time. It was first Stafford accepted, I think, of the stream. With knight c3, I th what's a move? Knight c3, I think queen f6. Preventing bishop f4, targeting f2. There's some funny line. I think it's uh, bishop f3, queen e5, g3, knight h2. Combined with h4. There's some variation where there's a double p sack. I haven't looked at this in a while, though. Hey, new top rating. I didn't even realize. Thanks for the reminder. Queenie one. I... Let's go for this. Now I'm pretty sure most h h4 might be simpler. I really thought though that this is winning. Dangerous to rely on memory. I'm not sure, but lines get tricky. Ooh. Three months Still until I get born. Oh, happy pre-birth. Okay, threatening this now. I mean, it's a fun position regardless. A queen, both bishops, a rook. Um, I mean, this looks very close to force mate. Even queen e6, and how does black 
How does white defend? Just looking for other options, but I guess there's e4. Oh, there's a funny line. So here, 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 here on passant. And then, oh, maybe bishop g2. I'll throw in bishop g2, and then after en passant, queen e6. Oh, but then bishop e5. Maybe I just castle, <laughs> threatening rook d4 mate. So what's the line? So here, here. Oh, that's not happening. Free pawn? Oh, interesting. Um, I mean, this looks completely winning. What's the best route? Just queenside castle. So I, I defend the bishop first. So after here, here, here on passant, here, here, and then some kind of mate, I guess. Oh, there's king d3 right away. I should have played bishop d2. Ah, my opponent didn't on passant. Mm. What's this move too? And it should still be winning. I am still down a piece. But it's still fun. Ooh, look at this move. Bishop c5. Oh no, my bishop. And then a5. Very quiet prophylactic move. Delayed half crab. Threatening b6 mate, completing the pawn chain. I guess there's knight a4 here. <laughs> the line. Oh, knight a4, queen d5 mate. So a5 might be made in two. Oh, that's a move. That's a move. Wow. Wait, rook d5. Haha. <laughs> that's such a funny line. What's going on? I have like a weird windmill. Okay, I'm mating on B4. <laughs> oh, what a game. That's why I love the Stafford positions like this. Rook is randomly on D1. The pieces don't make sense in the final. <laughs> the, the final position. Look at how random the pieces are. Bishops randomly. Rook here, king on c4. Okay, back to tournament. Okay, top 60. Highest blitz rating ever. Okay, playing Hector Lewis. Go for London. It's another one of these. So I had this earlier where I took a lot of time, but it was against a different opponent. Oh, this move order. I have to be careful now. Because b4 is actually a threat, and I don't have time for this and this. Do I have time for this move? That move might actually work. Like d5? Worst case, I take on f6. So calculations takes... T never mind. Three months to my favorite chess player. Hoping for many hey. more. Happy three months. Okay, this is looking nice now. Thank you, the Cooper man. And thank you, Loke. Go win, Magus. I'm trying. I think I do play this. If g5, I take and play f4. Oh, my queen might get trapped. But there's this idea. That's tricky. It looks fun, though. I mean, H7 is a clear target. The queen's not trapped. It's just stuck. There's no way black can attack it, though. There's G4 here. 
idea being I want to play this and then discourage f5. Oh, there's this move. Mm. I guess I should play f4 now. Connect 4. Let's go. <laughs> That's a funny position. I like it though. Because it might just be winning. If here. Oh, if here I, I'll take out my knife and maneuver it to f5. It's, it's so hard for black to defend the square. Okay. Knife f5. It's only a. Oh, it's only a butter knife though. King h8 is resourceful. Um, I guess I'd still do this and then win a pawn or two or three or four. Okay, it's still very pleasant. Um, control the file. I want to play this and eventually win this pawn. Knights attacked. I mean, I can win another pawn too. Hello, Eric. Hey. Keep up the good work. Can you say hi to my cat Bart? Oh, hello to your cat Bart. The flawed. Hello to flawed Mango's cat. Who's a good cat? You're a good cat, Bart. Okay. <laughs> um. Can I take more pawns? Can take more pawns. Black is going to try and mate me. I'll defend. Ooh. I have this move, thankfully. It's almost kind of scary. Got to watch my time. There's A3 here. Looks wrong, but let's do it. That's a threat. The problem is there's not too many squares a queen can go to. I'm going to lose a pawn probably. Ooh. So we'll trade. Okay. And down on time, losing something. I'm up two pawns, but I might be losing both of them back. Oh, I'm losing an exchange. Ooh. I didn't even see that. Let's defend from afar. You are legitimately one of the funniest people on Twitch. So many gems of humor in your streams, I love it. Oh, thank you. I gotta stay focused here. Oh. Ah. Yeah, I'm losing. But maybe surviving, but maybe not. Who knows? Knights are tricky sometimes. Knights can also be clumsy. No.
Hey, I won on time. What? I won on time. Let's go. Oh, the clutch pawn. Oh, I feel kind of bad, but also good. More hand sanitizer. Yeah, thank you, Harry Mum. And flawed mangoes. And... Oh, AMC short seller also. I didn't acknowledge earlier. Okay, top 50. Let's go. Carlson having a confusing position. Um, try and keep it up. Still uh, 70 minutes left. Play one of these. I don't encounter knight c3 too often. As white as maybe going for a hippo. So I'm playing a crab setup. Not sure how much I'm achieving, but we'll have a fight. Yeah, that's a good move. Take. Actually, not sure what to do here. This makes sense to push and queen e6. Expecting this. So if this, 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 I'm okay. Ah, c5 is still a threat. Hmm. Feel sure what to good do. Man. I also feel stuck. I hear. Really enjoy your video on the Budapest Gambit. Oh, good I to have hear. been using it with great success. Thank you. Hey, let's go. Okay, I'm undeveloping. I spent so much time there. I just want to play C6 and get a reverse French. Unfortunately, White um, always just winning a pawn. Okay. I'm down the pawn, down on time. Yeah, white's opening just confused me. Yeah, I think you sacrificial king. App three duck. It's my birthday and you are streaming Ooh. again. Hey, let's go. Must have known. Oh, happy birthday, Stephen Gray. Everyone wish happy birthday to Stephen Gray. Okay, I gotta I gotta focus here. I'm losing I'm losing more material. Oh, but I have Bishop D three. Hey, I love your videos. I always watch you to fall asleep. Have a nice stream. Oh, have a nice sleep, Mr. Seva. I have to save the bishop. Whoa, the Stephen Gray giving me a birthday. It's like a reverse birthday gift. <laughs> Thanks for that. Five gifted. I uh, have to move the knight now. Knight f6. The dream is to put a knight here. Or here and then there. I'm down a minute. And castle. I want to make the game sharp. My only chance. Really uncomfortable here. This idea after the pawn. Uh, taking some risks. It's a good move. I am in deep trouble. Uh, 
Uh, let's try this. Idea rook d3. Do. Oh. There goes my hope and dreams. Okay, well played. Ah, I got to play that game. Okay, let's do a chant. Happy birthday. Yeah, I started a chant. So now people can chant. Okay. Oh, let's not berserk. Even though my record is like 0% against berserking people. Hey, that's a nice, uh, nice number of people wishing happy birthday. Thanks, everyone. Oh, this is a very strong player, too, by the way. I don't know why I'm higher rated than him. Oh, he's berserking a lot. That's why. Um, this move is playable, I think. Yeah, I had a similar position earlier. So now I'm threatening to... Doesn't quite work, though. Let's see, four is a move. I think I'll just go for this. Takes, takes, takes. I think I had this exact position earlier. Opponent played f6. I went for this line. I'll just play what I played earlier. <laughs> I spent all my time thinking in that other game, and now... I just get to use the same plans. So idea to control C5. But this was maybe like 10 or so games ago. Okay, so I'm gonna put the rook on C5 now. And yeah, basically I just wanna grind things down and Drain my opponent's time. Interesting. I don't think I mind the knight versus bishop endgame. Move back to the center. There is rook d4, rook c4. I mean, that's a free something. Queen's Gambit accepted. Do you play e3 or e4 and why? Uh, I play e3 because I don't know theory. But e4 is probably objectively better. But also more complicated. This is a move. I mean, there should be multiple ways Hello to win from this. Brazil. Play this first. Hello from St. Louis. Okay, this move's coming. Mm, the opponent's fighting. There we go. Okay. I feel kind of bad not berserking, but I mean, my weakness is like losing on time, so it's better to save my time and save my rating too. Okay. Yeah, E3 has like that famous trap where you they try and defend the pawn and you trap the rook. Um, I think G4 is probably more or E4 is probably more common in master play. Who is this? Anonymous. Okay. Playing a strong player. Um, I'll play this move. Kind of transposing. You. I had this position once in a tournament game in Chicago Open against the Grandmaster. I, I managed to win in some nice fashion. Knight b4. This is a move. I think I should just take, though. a6 and bishop here. 
Ooh. Bishop e5 first. Thank you, so Wolfie and Eskram. Some deep words. So I might want to castle queenside and then attack. The structure is kind of awkward for black because there's three islands of two pawns each. That's a move, though. Hmm. There's queen e4 here. No time to take. Kind of want to play bishop d4. I mean, we might end up trading stuff. Ooh, didn't see that move. Pawn's playing very aggressively. Also, thanks for subbing, Professor Laxus. Oh, like prophylaxis. And Jumari subbing for four months. Okay, things are still controlled. I probably want to castle kingside, have a more positional game. Question how black will develop. The bishop. Oh, knight c3. Really? Might have to play queen d2 here. Yeah, I can't allow knight c3. Oh, I'm losing f2. Mm, and g2. Ah. There goes my pawns. I'll play on because there's still hope. And this move not quite working. Ah, okay, let's play this and connect the rooks. Again, have to treat my blunders as sacrifices. I do have there's bishop e4. Okay, so I'm down two pawns. Soon to be three. Mm. But I have more open files in black. Yeah, opponent's playing like a grandmaster. I want to play this move. Not quite on time, though. And these pawns could be falling. I want to play 96. Mm. Have to hope and pray. Oh no. Oh, there's a funny force mate here, 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 and mate. That's not going to happen though. It wasn't even forced. Oh. 
die. <laughs> okay. I tried to fight. That was rough. I got outplayed. What to do? We do a backer gifting to Co something something. Okay. Let's berserk. Let's try and fight. Um, I'll play this. Um, so I have to move back. So I have the bishop here. Looks okay. B5 and bishop B7 coming. And white might already be in like really big trouble. It's still a fight, of course. But there's a lot of pressure against G2. Try and keep some pressure. Queen H7 is a move. I can take twice and play with Queen H7. I think I play F5 first. I don't know. Oh. Okay. Can't complain with this. I win the C pawn. Here we go. Ooh. That's still winning. Okay, let's go. 52 minutes left. Um, Top 50, maybe? Hey, top 50. Okay, so I had a... I, I did lose my streak from earlier, but 39 tournament points. Man, Carlson has 96. Um, Play chess. I'm sticking with my same repertoire. It's been working decently. Yeah, this is a more, can be a more positional line. More symmetrical line, too. This is very symmetrical. <laughs> okay, break the symmetry a little bit. It's the thing, like, symmetrical positions usually slightly favor white, so I can't complain. Opponent deciding whether or not to copy me. This is just a blunder because I take. Here I think I... Mm. Maybe I don't grab the bishop pair. I could play f4. And then put the bishop here eventually. So we have a more stonewall setup. Interesting. Okay, so usually I would want my light sword bishop in the structure, but 
what to do. Let's rook f3. And just going through with the typical attacking plans. Bring all the pieces to the king side. Probably knight f3. Yeah. If I take. I don't want the knight to come to e4. Let's keep the position closed. Go for this and etc. You put the rook here. Ooh. Man, C3 can't be defended. Okay, let's control the B file, try and come around this way. That's crazy, like black is rock solid, kind of. In this pawn, I guess. C pawn could be a problem. I have knight of three. That's still interesting. I just want to keep pushing. Push this way. I thought this just wins a pawn, but I guess it simplifies. Oh, my rook's stuck. Oh, no. Ah, I realized too late. Ah. I'm just losing now. Any hope? Well played. Okay, I'm still fighting though, because this king is looking tasty. And the knight stuck. Even though black's up a rook, it's not super simple to win anything so soon. Oh, never mind. Ah, my position. Okay, I resign. Ah, well played. That was tough. It was probably okay before I lost a rook. Maybe should have been more careful trading queens there. Okay, still hovering around top 50. Um, What was my peak rating? It's like, did I pass 2650? Oh, this is a very level opponent. I played this opponent many times before. Opponents debating what to do. They're trying to refute the Stafford before the game starts. Let's go, bits. Oh, they berserk. They they've used all their time and then berserked. Interesting. Let's go. Thanks for that, Bonds. Thirteen. Okay. Yep. 
Yeah, I'm allowing this. My knight should be on d4 here. I'll put it on d5. Go for this. Hey, thanks for the raid. Naomi. Appreciate it. If you're just joining, I have to stay focused in the midst of the Lee Chess titled arena. Been having a decent tournament so far. Play ninety five. Even knight g6. Let's try knight g6. Keeping d5 open for the rook, potentially. Did I just blunder? No. Okay, so hitting this pawn, preparing this. My queen defends backwards. Yeah, this is looking very pleasant now. Trade and play this move. Not sure if I'm winning anything though. Yeah, that didn't really accomplish much. I guess I just move back. Or uh, we trade and move back. Hmm. Yeah, I'm slightly worse here, but I do have the time advantage. Very tricky. Risky move. Yeah, getting outplayed. Thanks for buying merch, whoever just bought merch. Try this move. It's not so bad. Oh, maybe this is so bad. Uh, I missed a fork. No. Don't make me. Ah. Oh, that was rough. Yeah, it's hard to uh, get stalemated there with the bishops of opposite colors. Ah, what to do? Thank you, base space. Subbing a tier one. Love, it's still top and 60. Happiness to you, kind master of chess three. Oh, that was my first two losses in a row of the tournament. It feels bad. Oh, thank you, Like a Leaf. Your words make me feel less bad. Okay. Um, 
Let's try and rebound. There's still 40 minutes left. Still time to catch up to Magnus, maybe. Uh, Queen F4 would be a novelty. I'll play this line. Kopsky, London. I should remember how to play this. Oh, I was supposed to check first. I messed this up a little bit, but... Is that a mouse slip? Take back? No. That's probably a mouse slip. No way that was intended. <laughs> I was hoping black would castle because then I would be in, in prep again. But I guess king f8 is... Uh, it's better for me. I guess takebacks aren't allowed in these sort of tournaments. So, yeah, like if the king was castled, I have knight g5. Hmm. I might just have to take and just enjoy the fact I can castle. Okay, I spent a lot of time there. My position is very solid. B3. B3 might actually do stuff. Because B5, I have A4. I didn't look at this too closely. Takes maybe d5. So now I, mean, I want to get to a point where like black will take, I take back and have the h file, get my queen active. I can take this way. Might just win a piece. And there's b3 here. But then I take on d7 with queen. b3 there. I think it's okay. It's weird. Black has comp. Funny line. Rook d8 here, here, and then triple fork. And knight d4 is definitely a move I want to play. Just a question how to have the bishop escape. Play queen e2 here. Don't think queen h5 does much. Oh, g2 is hanging. I'll play e4. There we go. Yeah, this should be a pretty straightforward win now. Ooh, fancy. I mean, there's king f6. It's fancy, though. No draw. What to do? Maybe this, no. What am I doing here? This move, no. <laughs> I'm just confusing myself. I'll just take. I was hoping to win quicker, but I guess that won't be the case. Thoughts on Arizona iced teas? Oh, not a big fan of the, isn't there, I might be confusing the brand, but yeah, isn't there like artificial sweetener or something? 
if it has high fructose corn syrup, then I'm not a fan. But if it if it's like uns if it's like lightly sweet, it depends. <laughs> I feel like last time I had Arizona iced tea was like years ago. Wow, what a move! Let's play this move. That was a fancy move. What is this? Okay, that's a free thing. A5 was so random. <laughs> that was a cool move, rookie one, like promotion tactics. No draw. I can explain, like, I didn't, uh, one's just going to flag, I guess. Um, the reason why I don't take is because after takes, takes b2 i can't stop the pawn from promoting because my king blocks the first rank so yeah it's a tricky move okay we move on top 60 hey it's pam oh no pam's wi-fi oh no don't leave maybe come back later and hopefully the wi-fi will be better oh i'm playing king's crusher oh, i should play e4 because I know he likes to play Stafford as well. Play one of these. I feel like I, we've had this position before. Shout out to King's Crusher, who's also, I assume, streaming. Also, thank you to Neon Hawk buying merch. Appreciate it. Um, okay, I gotta focus. To do here, King A one maybe. Maybe this and this idea. Another idea to lunge the G pawn. Let's do it. Ooh, tricky move. Can take and play bishop h2. Or bishop g3. So there's a pin. And he's playing aggressively. Do you have this move? Attacking the knight, unleashing the rook, preparing g5. Um, yeah. Go after the pawn now. So I have one, two, three, four, five against four. Okay. So a lot of attackers and a lot of defenders. Hopefully the math is correct. It's still tricky though. Just move back. I guess that was just a trade. But now, okay, now I'm up a pawn hitting this, mainly this. It'd be really nice to get the queen to this diagonal. Because there's no knight f6 and bishop just restricts the knight. Hmm. There's a funny line. Hmm. Let's play this. So threatening this, but also this. I'm still threatening this and mate. Oh, 
So everything's attacked, basically. <laughs> this better work out. At the very least, I'll win, like, peace or the exchange or mate. There is rook c6, but then, okay, I take and, yeah, things work out and they simplify. Take the bishop. Not getting back rank mated. This is a funny line. Knight of six coming. Oh no, knight of six doesn't work. Okay, <laughs> the rook's defended. But I am up a piece here. And down a little bit of time. Idea this, this, and mate. Ooh, tricky. This move? This is coming. Oh, wait, he tricked me. Ah, okay, I'm still winning. <laughs> oh, King Crusher is so tricky. All the black pawns are fixed on dark squares. Okay, that was nice. Ah, oh, it took work to win that game, and he likes to put up resistance. Okay. Yeah, I'm still trying to catch up to Carlson, but he keeps lengthening, lengthening his lead and his winning streak. That's insane. And his rating is also insane. Okay. Playing... At first, I thought this said Kaled yourself, but it's Khaled Yusuf. Okay, Stafford Gamba time. So I haven't played this opponent yet, but I've played, actually haven't encountered d4, played the more symmetrical positions. So going after this pawn can't quite take because there's uh there would be the pin yeah bishop h4 i think i just played g5 uh rook b1 was preparing knight d5 confuse me for a moment So F4 is probably coming. Mm. This is actually interesting. So if G3, I just move back, and then F4, I, uh, I trap the rook. Actually, the rook, yeah, rook was about to be trapped. Just have to watch out for this move. I am up exchange now. I might want to take eventually, just to simplify. I mean, there's queen g2. Not the prettiest move. And now I can do this. That was the point. Like after takes, takes, there's no knight c7. Oh, but there's that move. But I have this move. I should have seen this ahead of time. I think it's still okay. It's takes, takes. Everything should work out. Hey, it's Josh. What's up, Josh? Happy belated birthday. 
for anyone just joining, I'm uh, yeah, I'm playing the Blitz Tyler Arena. I joined a half hour late, but um, doing decently overall. Had some fun games so far. I'm 25 minutes left in the tournament. Trying to convert this position without any hiccups. Rookie five coming. Okay, I'll be simple. Opponent was following the rule, never resign when you have a knight. But now there's no more knight. And no more en passant. Okay. <laughs> that was nice. Okay, trying to break into top 50. Won the last three in a row. Yeah, a lot of title players playing, over 500 players in this tournament. Carlson is leading, not dropping a single game. Oh, but he's in trouble, kind of, right? Oh, he's in a lot of trouble. He's about to lose his first game, I think. I shouldn't watch too intently, but I assume he's losing. Yeah, he's dead. Wow, he lost his first game. That was the first game I, I watched of his, too. <laughs> Maybe I should watch more of his games. Oh, this is a fun line. This is, uh, yeah, B5 is a, a key move in this variation. It looks like a pawn sacrifice, but the point is I win the pawn right back. And then I, I solve the problem of my light squared bishop. Just rook goes back. I vaguely remember the engine says this is okay, but don't want to deal with bishop a5. Okay, so I think just bishop b7 here. Enjoy the, the bishops. The rook might want to be here, actually. The queen goes here. I have a pretty stable development setup. Ooh. Okay, I probably have to trade. Like rook b2. All right, let's uh let's develop first. Okay, so all these files are open. Relatively similar pawn structure. I really want to take, but it doesn't quite work. Just making Luft. I still want to take, but it doesn't work. Oh, I can try and remove the... No, it doesn't work either. Okay, let's play this. It's probably close to equal. I'm trying to evaluate this. I feel like my bishop is slightly better than white's bishop.
And knight c5 here. Got to move quicker, though. Okay, I'm just trading everything. <sighs> Getting low on time. This looks very drosh, but game will go on. Ooh. Okay, so here I can take and play knight f3. There's queen c7 in the end. Then rook b7. Rook B2. Man. Queen D5. Let's play Queen D5. Keep things simple. Not sure if it works for white to trade queens. Okay, so my plan is to move the king here, chase the rook away from covering d5, and then win a2. I'm happy with this decision, because now the position is just much easier to play. Now I'm the one with the time advantage, too. Oh yeah, the structure is uh, perfectly symmetrical. But I have the better rook. Oh, but there's rook b5. Ooh, rook b5 is missed. Oh, should not have allowed that. This move. Yeah, the king's coming in. Can take. It gets kind of weird. but weird in my favor. Okay, that was nice. Oh, that was a GM too, from Russia. I'm just curious who that was. <laughs> yeah, not not someone I've heard of before. Okay, top uh, top fifty, top fifty. I think I'm at my peak rating almost. Okay, this is a fun line. Queen G four. Okay, so now this is a target. The queen's still tied down to the pawn, so yeah, C6 was probably erecting. best. Let's go. Thank you, TW. Yeah, this is just a very pleasant position because the pieces for black are kind of sad. I probably want to accelerate um, the plan with E4. Combined with rook E1. So it takes time for Black to like untangle these these things. Thank you, Magic Harry. It's nice getting this uh this bit of opening prep. And thank you, Static Eight. Yeah, appreciate all the subs. Yeah, wasting no time. If A three, I play. Oh, there's queen b4. Ooh, queen b4 is actually annoying. I may have just gone wrong here. Wow. I have this move. 
It's really uncomfortable though. Man, what a plan from Black. If I take, maybe I should take first. If takes, I think I play King D2. It looks ugly, but idea being, I don't want to allow Queen B4 with check. If takes, I get the file, and if takes, there's some knight b5 possibilities. Ah, but there's knight takes. So I take... Yeah, I'm probably worse here. Game will continue, though. I'm going to lose a2. Oh, there's a funny... I take on b2? Not quite. I can play this move. Because the bishop's kind of stuck. <laughs> I think the only move is rook here or bong cloud. Thank you, A. Becker. Oh, thanks so much for the, the words and the bits. Okay, so I went back the pawn. I'm still down the pawn. But I have activity. Kind of. Rook b5. Black, oh, black can legally castle. I'll play rook b5 anyway. Yeah, knight of six is coming. And black's still tied down because the bishop's glued to the pawn and the bishop's stuck. My king is actually kind of safe on d2. Probably after knight f6, I'll play knight e5. Target f7, prepare f3. Knight a6 may be coming. I might be threatening this. I like the position and the time situation. Oh, there's a funny line to play this, sack, and then this. It almost kind of works. Let's start with rook here. I just don't see the knockout blow. Also, this pawn's hanging now. It's a funny line, though. Wait. Let's do it. Okay, let's start with this, and then the threat is to take. Good luck, Eric. And now rook h3, and it's a party on the king's side. I don't think I need luck in this position, but thanks for the wishes anyway, James H.S. Okay, that was nice. A nice little finish. That was a weird game. Like, the opening looked good, and then I think I was in trouble, but then it was good again. Okay, 41st. I think this is an all-time high rating. I guess I could check. Let's go. Yeah, at my peak. I guess this is what it feels like to be peaking. Oh, thank you, Dave Rejay. Oh, very strong player. I've only beat this player twice. Very fast player, too. I'm playing this line. Yeah, g4 is coming, maybe. I have a uh, queen b8. Getting out of the pin. Kind of controlling the square. Preventing knight e5. b5. Thank you, Chaudan. Welcome back, Chaudan. Um, c6 is kind of hanging. 
Let's do it anyway. So if takes, I take and have two hangs. Takes, I win the queen. This looks solid. Those pawns attacked. I guess I could um, just play this move. Okay, so we have a reverse French structure. Not too bad. Look, C8's coming. Never mind. A C file is an issue. Try this move, maintaining tension. These pawns look tasty. This and this. I have to play this first. Oh no, my pawn. Then I went F2. Down a bit of time, but position Second looks fine. Subbing, let's go. Hey, let's go. Thank you, J Dub. Yeah, so plan is this. Okay, now I'm preparing B4. What's the best way to learn chess? Ooh. Don't think there is a best way. It really depends on the individual. What's most important is you understand your learning style, you're self aware, and you're passionate, and you have a growth mindset. And pawn still defended. Okay, Rook wants to be here. I'm just waiting around. I don't know what my plan is. Maybe this move. And sneak in this way. Ooh, white's being sneaky too. Play this. Oh, Knight of Fate's a threat. Wow. So I have to take? Ah, my rook. Ah. It was very sneaky. Almost getting zugzwanged. Do good technique. Do ah. Last hope is G five H four, and I'm hoping that White can't stop my passer, which is maybe a possibility. Weirdly enough, it's crazy, but this pawn might pull a miracle. No, ah, it's so close. Wait, am I? No, I'm not in time. Ah, I need one more move. Ah, okay, I resign. Ah, that's so sad. That was almost a miracle. Is there any chance? Because I had to prevent this. And then... Yeah, if I play this, this, there's rook g1. 
That was really close. Okay. <laughs> I almost set up a trick. Good game. Still top 50. There goes my five in a row win streak. The opponent was very sneaky with uh, the night in invasion. Okay, this name also gives me anxiety. I don't know which name is worse, murder bot or the one I played earlier, the cheater bot. <laughs> um, okay, we're going to have a one of these, Danish declined. So the key move here, not this, because then, oh no, my queen, but queen c4. And uh, yeah. this is one of the reasons why this line isn't so popular for white. Oh, this could be the last game too. At least the last game that counts for the tournament. So I might have only one more chance to play Magnus. So the goal is to win quickly, watch Magnus, and then rejoin the tournament when Magnus finishes. Very optimistic though. Oh, this is a funny line. Queen a4, b5. If takes, I fork, and if uh, if knight takes, I main on e2. Meanwhile, I'm just running this. I guess that defends. Wow. I guess queen a6. The queen does its job here. So I probably want a queenside castle soon. Maybe knight a6 with tempo. Interesting. Man, I want to do things, but things don't quite work. There's a line where I sack a piece. Now nah, let's be civil. Still preventing life from casting. Yeah, this is going to be the last game. I'll just try and win this game so it counts for the tournament, which might be difficult. Oh no. Okay, bishop d3, I have queen a5. Otherwise, oh no, my queen. So I'm up a pawn. Castle. I have to keep this number bigger than this number. Ah, I missed this move. Ah. Too focused on the numbers. Please repeat. Yes. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> this is the one time that tra uh, that uh, time traveling can exist. You repeat to go back in time. Let's go. Okay. Ah, pairings are closed. Let's watch Carlson. Oh, Carlson's paused. Oh, he lost two games and then he just withdrew because he's so far ahead. Okay. That was a fun tournament. Top 50 out of over 500 people. I late joined half hour. What was it? I joined when there were two and a half hours left. It was a three hour tournament. Oh, new rating peak? Really? Almost new rating peak. Not quite though. But a, a new peak today. Um, yeah, I, I did cross 2650 today at one point. Okay. Hey, there's confetti. There's more confetti too. Wow, so much confetti.